Hi, I am Tony True. I'm the CEO and founder of Venetian Nail Spa. I am here again today at the Midtown Dorao uh, with at the Venetian Nail under construction. We are pretty much almost 70% uh, 70, 70 finished. Uh, we had a minor delay, but that delay in terms of the mechanical delay and uh, the blueprint to turn over to the city, it took us uh, probably three, three weeks the last time we met over here. Uh, so the, that's the time that uh, we, we couldn't do anything about it. We couldn't patch up the finishing up, finishing up the, the drywall. So, so we decided to start on the flooring and the tiling. So to get it out of the way, let's kind of go, go backward on, on our schedule and out of turn. But uh, eventually we're gonna try to finish this salon on time. Paige uh, is here today. The first time you get to see him. Uh, he is my supervisor of all the construction going on. He goes around checking pretty much of everything, the beginning of the, uh, the construction. Toward the end of the construction, is, which is around like the, the last uh, one third of the construction. Here we're gonna see that obviously all the main tiles flowing through, all the main tiles flowing through into the workroom. And the main tile is gonna flow as we always do through the wax room into the bathrooms. So they've done a pretty good job of doing so and uh, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be pretty happy with that. The facial rooms with the um, wood shaped tile, uh, obviously this is my desired pattern to mm -hmm. enter it uh, at a, at a uh, okay. cross angle. Yeah. This is not my desired pattern, but I think we'll go ahead and- Oh, we can hear more vertical yeah. right in the door. Mm -hmm. But that's, that it's okay. Mm -hmm. I had them break the tile perfectly at the middle. They did a great job of that as I well. I see. So as far as the tile crew goes, I would use them again. Okay. And they got, they got it pretty okay. good. Again, going back to the pedicure room, and you can see the size of the mud set that they have here. Oh, it's nice. It's wet right now. Okay. But this is a very, very good mud set. Okay. They actually have one full inch of mud mm -hmm. and then our tile. Okay. So it's, That's again, a typical, right? The this same. is what we do typically, but I was not expecting this with this crew, but yeah. it worked out wonderful. Yeah. You'll see it. They'll, they mud set the whole thing. It's not like uh, on a where you're going to feel hollow spots. Going back to, I wanted to show you a couple things on the HVAC. Going back to what we talked about before, with the difficulties associated with multi-story buildings and, and all the avenues with concealed space and so forth, these units, and we had this happen in City Place Doral as well, mm -hmm. but these units completely, and then this of course is just the air handling portion of it, the condensers are you know on the roof. But this unit has to be theoretically removed completely. So therefore, this will all be an access panel. Mm. Over on this unit here, which is our largest... Even, even right now, Paige, you can't even remove that. that a, something happened, right? It's not, it's not large enough. It doesn't make sense. No. Right? This one actually could. Yeah. Because we made the entire portion. Uh -huh. So what you'd end up doing is you'd take... You cut off all the cables and such. Uh -huh. You take a lift, put it in here, literally take the whole thing down, move it out, and put the new one in. So the reason we do all this unit up here for the you know for the people to know is that because we don't we don't have roof access. It's too high up, too far up, and then we do in in house in the salon. Correct. Right? And, and di different municipalities allow. For example, if we had a roof directly above us, mm -hmm. then we'd have rooftop units. We wouldn't have this issue whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But because of it being multi-story building, you have to have split systems where the condensers go on the roof or on the ground or but something. But when, when, when we did the blueprint at the beginning, mm -hmm. this was not accountable for, Paige? It was. It's just that when they did it, they, the engineer doesn't know exactly how large the, uh, or excuse me, the height of the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So that's where we run into situations where we have landlord piping that goes throughout mm -hmm. that keeps you from utilizing the uh, entire exi space. Existing yeah, exactly. pipe. Okay. So you have some landlord piping and other features that, al that, that limit us to our total height. Mm -hmm. In this case, we, brought, we actually removed some of the landlord piping rerouted it so mm -hmm. we could get this air handling unit as high as we possibly could. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony uh, Wynn, he is our, uh, uh, the uh, director of the construction development. He's coming in, he's uh, take over Paige uh, uh, job to finishing up the salon uh, completely. So today Paige is going to uh, coming in to do a walkthrough 
with the superintendent on site that uh, which is in our group and so he's going to finish up uh, transitioning the whole project over to Tony so Tony moving forward going to be working with Alex is our superintendent in the salon uh, today all of the flat surfaces associated with all the drywall on almost all the rooms is is one color okay, okay. and that that Including one color this off in here the that, okay. Or it, only inside, inside. Okay. Yeah, so for, for here. Now, because okay. we have soffits that we don't normally have in certain areas, yeah. I don't know if you want to change, Tony, any of these. I do, I do the Brevity Brown. Okay. Yeah. All color, you know, so this, just to throw some names out, this is called Believable Buff. This is Brevity yes, Brown. Yes, I, I saw that name, yeah. This is Killam Beige. Yeah. So the whole entire thing here will be all Killam Beige. Killam Beige is, is most every vertical wall except for, and Tony will pick out a couple walls in the front, which are... Mm -hmm. um, Verve Violet or whatever color you yeah. want to use for that. Mm -hmm. The entire ceiling here, after the level five finish is done, this will all be the cool blue. Yes. Okay. And then after that, white you'll do your artistic. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and we'll yeah. all pray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> backdrop. Come down. Oh, you want the blue on that on that on yeah, that the wall. backdrop. And yeah. also and all the, okay. Yeah. And then what we do is you'll see. And on that wall spray. inside. No. 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 no, no. Okay. Just those two. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. The plastic profile to finish. So to we, finish. we have a we have a metal schluter. Uh, so this has basically a curve to it, and it will go you know like that, and it would do the same thing on this, okay. this, and this. No. But then we discussed since the back side of this is is a drywall. So how do would you finish this? And we discussed that earlier. So I think what we should do is we should go over one inch of the tile, actually overhang the tile one inch, and then we'll bring a piece of chair rail underneath it. I guess we'll dress it up, okay. And that chair rail then be painted the same uh, black. That chair rail is a wood, right? That's correct. Oh, right. So a piece of chair rail, short piece of chair rail to go across there. Same color that we'll do the other. It's called black bean. It, it, it finishes off really nicely. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. we actually put that chair rail here, running across there. Oh. And then we match it with this. Oh, right. So it will be uh, okay. Okay. And that bracket is going to have going to be more like this though. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the bracket will go on here to here, okay. like that, yeah. and that's secure. So all, okay. Correct. Okay. And same, then do the exact same, same thing oh, up okay. there. Then and it will be hidden by the base of the capital. That's exactly right. So then once the base goes on, you don't see that bracket. Okay, okay. And very simply, you're going to, oh, obviously you're going to have to wait until the, this material oh, of course. is on top. Of course. Yeah. And, and that bracket. Then can, now, now, now that has to be screwed or? No, so it's not glued. structural, so glue it. Well, okay, you got it's it. It's not structural, so glue it. Okay. So yeah. I would use a, a little three inch Home Depot style L like bracket. L, exactly, mm -hmm. I know exactly where they are. Four of them will do? Four, four is perfect. Four is perfect, yeah, four is perfect. And it goes really fast because you cut them to, cut them to size, yeah. maybe you know one quarter less, Okay. you know? <laughs> Set it in place, boom. Make sure your uh, the cap and base. Your cap and base are on first. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Something like that so it doesn't fall down, you know? Oh. So you have see, your cap and base. Because of course it's going to be. Right. And yes. then that so there will be a glass, a clear glass partition right here. Correct. Oh, there's no, yeah, and a header. An open, there's no door. Yes. So there will be a, a cabinet here. There will be a from cabinet on the top. See the, 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 the glacier white, the, the, the white. I don't know if there will be a frame right here, the glass frame. So the tile, the, the white glazer all the way, we were thinking if there's, there's, if there's a frame for the glass right here, then the tile touch, finishes right here, or it might be finishing up right to here. But then at the bottom where the cabinetry come in 34 inches height, and then the backsplash ends where the, the table, correct, right? Then the tile go all the way across, there'll be an empty side right here, drywall, exposed. So I, I told Axel we can do the tile, the same glazer white tile, kind of go down, like finishing it off next to the cabinet because usually we have a drywall right here. If, if Eric says this is 34 inches, the top of his, his counter, okay? And we bring that exactly 34, but he brings it in and it's 33 and a quarter, I, then we got a bad situation, yeah. you know? So the only way to fix that, in my mind, is Eric says the counter's 34, okay? This is the best way to do it in my mind. The count is 34. We bring our rock to 37, and then we make a backsplash and make it perfect. Okay. That's the best thing you can do. Okay. That comes in here. 
and he says my frame is three inches. Okay. Okay. So you center it. You know, your three inches. Oh, okay. It'll be it'll be reasonably separated from. Right. From and the then cap. you're gonna take that line right there, and you're gonna strike it, and that's where your guys are gonna end. Oh. The frame we're in first. Mm -hmm. Then we just tile right to it. Mm -hmm. In this case, the frame's not gonna be in. My guess, because mm -hmm. they're already working on this glass mm -hmm. to be the wall. on top of the rock. So it might look better. It would look horrible. From this side right here, you would see all these little... You like know, gap? Yeah. Okay. You want it against it, not like that. Because okay. this, this glacier white is not as bad, but it's pretty, pretty much crazy. It's still... Uh, like uh, yeah. a golden harvest, you know? Mm -hmm. So you'd have to pick the, you'd have to pick the, where the where the sticks end? out the, yeah, right, the furthest, and then all the other would be a gap. Okay. Uh, we also gonna discuss uh, briefly with uh, Ashley. She is our salon director, so she's oversee of the finishes, uh, of the, in terms of the, uh, the, the curtain, the painting, the medallion, uh, the decal, every, anything in, in the salon that uh, need to be ordered to, to get it uh, uh, open. We have enough medallions? Small, no big. That's all we need, the small one. Okay. Yeah. And a medallion, I can count with I you. Got, yeah, I got you. Yeah, 14. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So like okay. 17. Yeah, so I'm gonna do 20. And then plus the waterfall. Right, which is four. Mm -hmm. 17, four, 20. So let's just say, I'm gonna bring 26, 25 yeah. to be safe. And then in, in curtain wise, yeah, one, on, one, to so do the smaller arches, one, two, three, four. That means four smaller arches, the eight curtain. Yeah. So this is, this is eight feet. I think eight feet will be good. Eight. Yeah, if you have eight, okay. if you already have the nine feet, then keep the nine. Okay. You've got all the caps, correct? Well, we, I think we only have a couple of sets. Okay. So you can order that. The last time we ordered them, I think you got it from Let's do a column count right now. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I haven't ordered them in ages. I know. The yeah. last time we ordered them was yeah. a while ago. Yeah. These are the plastic ones, though, that, that work really well with the Esther. Right there, right? Yeah. It's 11. So we need 22. Talking, I don't think it's best if we um, don't do TV frames for the TVs on these. Okay. No frames. Yeah, I'm I mean, the uh, frame of the thing. Take it and cut it the exact, size, exact shape, size as your frame for that. And then make sure you grab a stud, grab a stud. Okay? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna take a piece of uh, plywood, small piece. Right. And just go. How you did, like Alton. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And then that way the rock will go to it and you'll have enough room. Mm -hmm. So here's a photo of it from what Paige sent before. Yep. This is the same. That's what he's I talking see. about. So where it's, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, I use two by fours there. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the the glass decal for the wax studio. I don't I don't think we even need uh, the word wax wax studio, Ashley. Since it's only come on one side down here. Well, we can do the header. I was gonna say. You're yeah, gonna do, do the, the header. header. Yeah, the header across wax studio. But then so on, on the side here, you still have like the, the logo decal right. right here, so people don't bump into the glass. Right. Yeah. The frosted glass. Uh -huh. Oh, you need the exact. Are you gonna do the whole dimension? No. We just got estimate, and then we can they, they can send it wax studio. Whatever the exact is, they always do an extra inches, and then yeah. they cut it once they get here. Yeah, it's like nine six. Right. But thank you uh, for watching again, and uh, I hope uh, this today video is uh, educational for you, and that you can learn something about uh, construction. If you like what you've seen so far, and if you have any comment, uh, please feel free to make a comment below, and and, and give me a, a thumbs up. And also uh, subscribe to our channel so to uh, update you on our future video. Thank you.